Now, I hope you've seen enough of me in my channel to know that I've touched a few cameras. Zoomed in mode. I've put my hands on a few 35s, literally used this camera on commercial jobs. And I've certainly shot a lot of digital. So a photo walk with the Nikon D200. Right now, I'm gonna tell you the best 35 mil camera. Right now, I'm gonna tell you. Right now, I'm gonna tell you what is the best 35 millimeter camera to purchase in 2023 hell ever. This is the Canon AE-1. If you shoot film photography, you've heard the name Canon bounded around left, right, and center. And you know you've heard of the Canon AE-1. This, released in 1976, is a camera that is pointed towards the beginners. This, the Canon AE-1 and the Pentax K1000, are two cameras recommended for beginners to start with. The reason is, is that you can use them in fully manual mode, or you can use the light meter inside, or you can use this particular camera, the AE-1, in shutter priority. What does that mean? Shutter priority is me deciding the shutter speed and the camera deciding the aperture. My personal favorite mode is aperture priority. I decide the aperture, set my beautiful bokeh, and the camera takes care of the shutter speed for me. Now I think the camera does it that well that I went ahead and purchased a second Canon AE-1. This one I got online for around about 25 bucks because it was untested from goodwillfinds.com. If you haven't checked them out, you're insane. Goodwillfinds.com. Oh my God, but you're gambling. Sometimes they don't work. This Canon AE-1, this was my wife's camera. She used this in where? Photography school. She has fired so much 35 through this AE-1, you'd think it doesn't work. But guess what? It works beautifully. It's like the mailman. It always delivers. I'll never sell it. It has sentimental value, nostalgia. The images we get out of it, I love it. The camera then, one of the flaws is the battery door. The battery door on these old AE-1s, remember this is from 1976. Anyway, the battery door breaks, it's very flimsy. The L544, if you can see that, let's have a look, can we zoom in? This is the L544 Energizer battery. You just pop that in that little door there, close the door, Bob's your uncle. To test the battery, this is a battery test button. If I look through the viewfinder, press that battery test button, the needle will drop down to the middle, the needle drops down to the middle, and that tells me that the camera is ready because the battery still has some charge in it. And those batteries last a good few hundred depressions of that shutter. Why does it need a battery? Good question. It has a light meter inside. When I advance the shutter, half to press that shutter release and look through the viewfinder, I see red lights and the red lights are going to tell me what f-stop I need to set my lens at. So if I put the shutter speed right now at 250, I look through the lens half to press and it tells me that I need to set my f-stop at 2.8. So I go ahead, set my f-stop at 2.8 and now I've correctly exposed for that composition. Easy as that. I'm not a huge fan of that blinking red light. It kind of puts me off a little bit, but I love the fact that it does help me. Bear in mind, these light meters are a little old, you got over 30 years old. So just do go with that sunny 16 rule. Do use your head. And if you've got a personal light meter, I use one on my phone, a light meter app. I sometimes meter using that light meter app on my phone and then just double check it with the camera. This is, this is a photographer's best friend. One of the photographers. What a, one of a photographer's 
This is one of a photographer's best friends. Gaff tape. Get you a little piece of gaff tape, put it over the door, smooth it out. Hey, presto, Bob's your uncle. It's going nowhere. Yo, I use gaff tape all the time anyway. After I've loaded my camera with film, because the light seals on this particular camera are not the best, I go ahead and tape the seals up. That way I get less light leaks. Now, if you know me from this channel, you know I love light leaks. But when I'm using Portra 400 and I'm using more expensive film, I just try to keep those light leaks out as much as possible. So I'm gonna take this camera out with me tomorrow. It's gonna to be a beautiful day. I'm gonna load that out as a 100 because it's gonna be nice, bright, and sunny. But also we need to pimp up this camera. Let's go. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a colorful shutter release button because I like doing that with my cameras. These don't cost a thing. I think this was like $15 for three, maybe even four. There's a red one, a silver one, and a gold one. I'm gonna pimp this up and put some gold on it like it's a gold tooth on this AE1. A little bit vulgar, who cares? It's just a screw thread, get it on Amazon, and you just literally screw it into the shutter release. Not too tight, righty tighty. Look at that. Pimping feels much better to take that picture now. I love it. Also, you know, I like the Peak Design hubs, so I'll never drop my camera. No one can yoink it. This is a retro camera. I need a retro strap. If you're on eBay and you sold me this strap, thank you so much. Where is it? Yeah. Check that camera strap out, you guys. No, this is not modern vans. This is back then, you guys. This was pre vans. This was 70s. I paid way too much, way too much for this strap. You know, you get these old school straps for nothing, like KEH sell them for like 50 bucks for as many as you can carry. This one, I think, was 50 bucks just for this one. God, it's not enough to get on. Oh, there you go. Look at that. That is absolutely dope. I love it. Looks so cool. I feel cool carrying it around. It looks how a camera should look. Much like a Land Rover Defender looks how an SUV should look, the Canon AE-1 looks like a 35mm SLR film camera should look, you guys. Check that out. You just go ahead, get around, take your pictures. You look unassuming. Problems then that can arise from owning a Canon AE-1 or an A1. The dreaded Canon camera squeal. If you've never heard the squeal, this is what it sounds like. If you've never heard the Canon squeal, this is what it sounds like. Did you hear that? All that is, is it's the internal workings just wearing out a little bit, wearing down a little bit. But let me tell you, don't worry about it. I actually quite like it. It lets me know I've taken a picture and I don't care. So then, get you a Canon AE-1 in 2023. Get some expired art as a 100, put it in your camera and go and shoot some images. I promise you, this camera on shutter priority is so easy to use. You're gonna have such a good time and you won't regret it. Go do it, go and have a good time, go do it. Thanks for stopping by. That is the best 35 mil SLR camera in 2023 that isn't a Leica and isn't stupid expensive. The Canon 81. Thanks for stopping by you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed the images. Take it easy. Bye.